So I was using this phone holder or camera holder and putting it up there on the dash, you know, much like the phone holders here, but it was to hold my GoPro. And the dang thing, I had two of them and both of them broke in the same spot, like right here. But I recently found this on Amazon and um, I'm gonna give it a try. And we'll see uh, how it works out. So Y'all stick around and we'll check it out and then we'll get on to some deliveries. Maybe I had some yellow feathers or something up by it. Something was yellow and it got caught on the packaging, but I don't know. Maybe a yellow bird? delivered it <laughs> I have no idea but I tell you what that is this is one of the reasons why I carry a little knife like this you want to check this out I will put a link to it down below a little knife oh by the way I can put a link to this down below too in case y'all decide y'all want one but uh don't ask me about it too much just yet because I don't know all right, let's see what we think. That's a big old suction cup, isn't it? Let's see, does it have the... A lot of things nowadays come with this. Yeah, it does. I think say they come with like an adhesive. Well, if I can, there we go. Well, that one's not sticky. Hmm. But that's a deep concave. I don't know if you can tell, but that's deep. It may have pretty good suction. May not need that sticky stuff. It is kind of tacky feeling though. But let's check out the rest of this. So it says press. What are we pressing for? Oh, is that to? Well, no. Oh, oh, that's to lock it down right there. Kind of cool. Okay. So let's loosen this off. Will that make, yeah, that'll make that turn. So we're going to have it up like that. But that's facing the wrong way. What do we do? How do we get that turned the other way? So, anyway, yeah, we can put that up there in the windshield. Oh, that is, yeah, that's big. I don't know if y'all be able to tell. Let me scoot this up here. Well, can you see the difference in the sizes here? It like dwarfs that thing. Hard to tell. But it's a lot uh, bigger than the standard suction cup. So anyway, yeah, that's, that's kind of backwards, isn't it? So this comes with some accessories. You could put that like that. Let's see what that looks like. This is supposed to be a lot like the GoPro one, but I don't have a GoPro one, so I could not uh, advise on that. So if we took that out and that out, and drop this one. $3 surge on Wichita Falls base orders. That's the bite squad. That would put it right up there, wouldn't it? Would that put it up too close? What do y'all think? See if I can get this slid in there and we'll take a look-see. We won't lock it down or nothing yet, but let's look and see if that would, that would put that, that would put that camera right there, wouldn't it? Hmm. But that's going to get the back of your mirror if I'm videoing. But if he's going down the road, that would be perfect for like a, holding your, dash cam if you was using a gopro or your phone for a dash cam that would work perfect for that but i wonder if we put that on there like that so there's another attachment now that would put it backwards wouldn't it we'd be back in the other shape i like that idea though wonder if it, i wonder if it would stick to the dash you know, you could put it up on the dash like that. Oh. It looks like we have a spark order. Let's see what we have. $39 for two orders? Really? 60 items. 
So, 55 items from both of them's going to apartments. No wonder nobody's sticking them. A $30 tip. Boy, that's hard to beat, though. That's, that's a lot. Make sure to check out um, the items when and if you can to make sure what they are. Okay, well, anyway, let's get back to this. Let's see if that'll stick. Just out of curiosity. No, it won't stick to my dash. My dash is not flat enough, but you know, that might just sit there without sliding off. Sorry, is this cord? This is my regular dash cam. Y'all want to check that out? I'll put a link down in the description. But you could have that like that. I don't think that would go anywhere. Let's give that a try, y'all. But anyway, if you didn't do that, you could put... Let's see, that was like that, wasn't it? You could put this one on there, and then that would... Hey, like, put this on that. Well, I'm trying to show y'all. Okay. Yeah, then that would turn your camera the right direction. But it would drop it down some. So if this doesn't work out, we'll do it like this. But let's try this. Let's just give this a dangle and see how she works out. But yeah, this is um from Sublime sublime war <laughs> I don't know but we're gonna give it a go get it up there and see what it looks like at a different angle let me like that I'm afraid that might fall off though I don't know unless we get crazy driving it might ride right there that's what I had it going on there's this tripod right here running the GoPro was this eight yep eight black I'm going to put it right up there and we'll see how it looks. I don't know. Let's uh, see how that works out. And uh, maybe it won't fall. I guess we're going to find out. Let's go for a drive and see if it stays up there. This is a handy little tripod here. You want to check this out? Uh, we'll put a link down in the description. Y'all can check it out. And those are Amazon link. Amazon affiliate links. So, meaning, if you buy anything through those links, I get a very small commission. And I'm talking very small, but, you know, nickels add up. And that's about what you make. Haven't had anything else pop up on Spark. Oh, we did have those waiters pop up. Let's see. Let's turn waiter the waiter app on and see... If we can get some good orders. It's getting warm. It was pretty nice when it was cloudy, but those clouds are starting to burn off a little bit. and It's getting a little toasty out here. So let's get the car started and get the party started. Actually, ain't no party. It's just getting some AC flowing. I'm going to... Go ahead and turn Uber Eats on as well. And see if anything is happening in the Uber Eats world. But seriously, if y'all want to order this holder that uh, I showed you a moment ago, I'll put a link to it and we'll see how it works out. I'm not real sure if that's going to stay there or not, but we are going to find out together sublime wear sublime wear not war i couldn't see that little e while ago i was like sublime war but it's sublime wear i'm sorry my bad action camera suction cup mount with yellow feathers yellow hair it'd be good on a fishing lure though on a little jig anyway <laughs> Yeah, I talk a lot about fishing because I like fishing. And if you like doing these apps, that's a lot like fishing, to be honest with you, because you go to a certain area where there's a lot of stores, which means stores representing fish or 
stores, I, I mean, in restaurants and stores and whatnot. But fish, you go to that area? And uh, start fishing. And hopefully you catch an order. Oh, I'm getting goofier and goofier. I, I dropped my hat while I'm going. I'm not even got my hat on, y'all. There. There. Now do I look like Grandpa again? You know, it was years before I started wearing a hat. And I wouldn't have started probably wearing a hat, but right back here, it's getting a little thin. And you get out in that sun, and it ain't no fun. You get a headache. I don't know the recording is on. Recording stopped. That's that dash cam talking to me. Well there ain't nothing going off, y'all. You know, one of the reasons why I didn't take that spark order a few moments ago is because there are 60 items in one and what was it, 50 or 55 items in the other one? And when you get that many items that can take up a lot of room so unless you're driving a bigger car be careful with your item count because depending on what it is that can fill up a mid-sized car pretty quick and uh, in some cases you might not be able to carry it all you know i was just sitting there thinking why don't i flip the camera around i want to put it on hyperlapse that way as we can just it, it won't uh, a five minute drive will be like 30 seconds or less and y'all can kind of get an idea of what that foam mount would ride like on the dash and we will see and you won't have to look at me while we're checking it out so let's flip to high speed three two one It kind of looks like it may be a little too top heavy on the front and fall forward. So, hmm. Let's try it again. Okay, well, obviously that's not going to work just setting it up there. So, uh, my dash is it's curved if it was flat it would probably work i know it ain't gonna work right here that's probably way too curved okay well, we have a wait tour order let's see what it is all right, got that uh, Don Jose's order. Now I'm heading out to Shepherd Air Force Base. Got to feed our military. Yeah, 6.5 miles. And what was it, $11 and something? So, I don't know. Maybe we'll get something else while we're out on that side of town. I was over there the other night. As I was saying, I was over there the other night and uh, I kept getting orders and it was for uh, and I dropped the GoPro. Bang. Oh, it's down there somewhere. A little cap. Uh, anyway, I got out there and I wound up doing three or four orders all within about a mile or two. Most of them paid like 11 bucks. So kind of hard to beat that one mileage was good you just got to go in and out you know the gate which is no big deal it just takes a minute and you got to show them your id and all that fun stuff anyhow i'm going to head out there and uh, we'll see what comes up next stick around yeah we're going to mount that camera up there it looks like it shoots straight to the back, but hopefully I'm in frame a little bit. So, uh, I'm not sure. I really kind of like the idea of being able to swivel this mount. I mean, 
it sticks really well and it feels very firm if you're wanting to shoot straight shots but as far as being able to turn it just slightly like with my old one then another waiter order see this is 8.94 don jose's where we went earlier but i took a spark order while i was just sitting and it was going uh three or four miles i guess waiter has a can y'all hear that has like a timer to let you know there's an order waiting i'm gonna hit decline 894 is not really worth driving out to the base anyway i got a spark order just going to about four miles and i think it's ten dollars and eleven cents not great but not bad one item the one item is a cooler a 36 can cooler so decent sized cooler but it shouldn't be no problem for the back seat this would be ideal for uh uh, ride share ride share you know because you get a good view right there so do I think this is a good phone holder or camera holder yeah I really do it's pretty solid it, uh, it's $10 cheaper than the GoPro version of this windshield suction cup camera holder whatever they were done anyway it uh 10 bucks cheaper and it I, I don't have a gopro holder so i can't really compare quality but as far as looks go and the style it's pretty dang close and it's ten dollars cheaper the only thing is i would need to see if the gopro one is if you could swivel it if you can swivel it, I, I, that would be worth the extra $10 for me because I like being able to shoot, you know, directly and then be able to turn it to the back seat or turn it to the passenger seat. But this may be getting, I don't know if you can see my hand over here. This is about where somebody would be sitting. Actually, I have to scoot seated up, seated up, scooted up quite a bit. But anyway, that's enough about that holder if y'all want to check it out link in the description remember it's an amazon affiliate link so i'll make three or four cents <laughs> i don't know but anyhow i'm heading over to walmart to pick up this order it's a beautiful day 80 degrees and partly cloudy i wish i was out of the lake fishing not today, you gotta make some green back. Well, as it turned out, that order had been canceled. But uh, I was gonna call support and let them know that the ways they don't send it back out. Plus, depending on their mood, I guess, because I have been paid the full amount and sometimes I've been paid $3. But it beats just hitting the cancel and the trip and it counting against you. I'm sitting there looking at the gas prices over at Murphy's USA. It looks like four dollars and thirteen cents. Wow. It's either thirteen or nineteen. I can't really tell. There's a tree. I can see the four dot one, but then there's a tree limb that's in the way where I'm parked at. Let's just go over there and look. What's gas prices in Ells area? Uh, $4.19. Holy Toledo, that's getting up there. That's the first time I've seen it over $4, I believe, at Murphy's. Man, some of the higher stations in which. Hello? Um, 
thumbs up. Is anybody there? Hello, hello. <sighs> I think I have been ditched. Okay, well, I'm just going to cancel it, I guess. Oh, I had a Red Robin order. Man, I missed an order. Ah, missed a Red Robin order, and sometimes those are pretty good. Okay, I guess I'm just going to hang up and cancel this order. Man, happens that sometimes it happens. So, okay. We're going to go up and hit help. Cancel trip. Yes, cancel trip. And away it's gone. And just like that, we have a... We, oh, Red Robin, $8.16, really. Oh, I don't know. I really want to drive all the way up to the base. And up now, it's too far from here. See that? That one order went back to $9.11 is what it was originally. And now it's still there. Let somebody else go with it. I ain't. Um, let's go ahead and decline this one. Don't y'all just love days like this where it's so pretty outside? You don't want to be inside, but you're getting crappy orders. And orders that are apparently been canceled. And I have heard today, Emily called me or messaged me, I can't remember. Oh, she called me. And apparently, she's on. She's out d dashing. Apparently, either the app is glitching or it's not it's not, it's not, it's not showing the mileage. Y'all have that issue? I can't get on DoorDash, so I don't know. Because I'm not a top dasher. I say that sarcastically, but in all reality, much as I hate to say it, it uh, can be beneficial. Yeah. Right. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to, I want to show you something because I think, if I'm thinking right, on this phone or this holder, you can use it for your phone too. But I had to wait till I get home because that's where my phone holder is because I've got it sitting on top of a tripod. And uh, I want to see if I can put it on this holder. That way y'all would know if you could use it for your phone as well as your action camera if you have one. Or what other possibilities there is with this particular mount. So, um... I'm going to go ahead and end this video for this part until I get home. And then I'm going to hit record again and just show y'all. And we'll see. So, I'll see y'all at home. Alright, this is what I was thinking. So, I'll see if you have one of these. But you can get these for a little bit of nothing. I can put a link down in the description. And then you can... Uh, all you do is adjust it like that. Just drop your phone in there and go out far enough. You know, it'd be like that. Can y'all see that? Now, to attach this to that, you would need one of these. Just a uh, simple little, I don't know what you'd call it, adapter of sorts, and that screws right in there. You know, you have that. And then you just take this little piece here and put it right in there, like so. Put that bad boy back in there, like so. Then you can take your phone holder and see it's got that 
that screw right there, that screw hole, and right there, you just put that right up there, like so. Then you can take your phone and put it right in there like that. Or if you wanted to have it the other way, you can take this and turn it this way, and then you can record just like that. I don't know why we're, I don't know what that was. But anyway, yeah, you can tighten this thing up where it won't roll around on you and spin around. Yeah, pretty handy little deal. But you, you would have to get this piece separate, but you may already have one. But then you could use that mount and it's pretty stable. I don't think it's going nowhere. I'll put a link to this little piece right here and to the phone holder in the description if y'all want to check it out, you know. It may be something you can use. It may not be something you can use. I don't know. But uh, anyway, there it is. Yeah, I know this video has been kind of all over the place and uh, that's just the way my day has gone. And some things come up where I wasn't able to finish the daylight hours out. But, you know, it's not all about work. It's about enjoying what you do and being able to enjoy what you do. And I enjoy smiling. And I suggest y'all do the same thing. So, keep smiling. Keep dashing, dancing, prancing, doing whatever it is you want to do. Just keep doing something because you're going to grow old if you don't. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.